when I was little, um, my friend Michaela, her dad used to take us, uh, instead of like going like ghost hunting or whatever, we would go hunting for the Mothman. Where the bunk area is out there was originally the Shawnee burial grounds. When they built the bunkers during World War II, they did not excavate the graves, they built over top of it. The Mothman directly behind you, the face is real. The face and the wings are real. There's no way that dog walked or ran 200 miles overnight. A lot of crazy people, I would say, have um, come to Point Pleasant in search of the Mothman. And as a result, it's brought a lot of tourism and a, and a lot of, um, a little bit of a boost to the local economy. So as crazy and as far-fetched as it may seem, it's um, something that the town can somewhat be proud of and um, stand by. They did not describe the big red eyes and they did not describe it as a silver gray. The Indians described it as brown and white and colored and called them bobs. There's like teachers at my school that swear by it and there's just people that, you know, can't go about their daily lives without, you know, um, saying that the Mothman is part of it. So, I mean, there are those people, but you just, I guess for here, it's just part of life.